an ounce. The explosive scam spawned by a lethal lust for money. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. On occasion, society celebrates the anti-hero. You know, the one who catches the imagination as a romantic rebel, or the scam artist that takes advantage of the evil rich. Characters like the noble Robin Hood, or the affable scoundrel who sold the Eiffel Tower twice. <laughs> this is not one of those stories. This story begins with a novelty item. The golf ball finder called the gopher. The item has a plastic pistol grip with a telescoping metal antenna sticking out in front of it, which swiveled to and fro. It even had a small battery-powered electronics board inside. It was claimed to work like a dowsing rod, only better. Their ad states, it's tuned to home in on the elements found in golf balls. The pitch jokingly continues, please don't ask us for the theory of its operation. That's the main reason why we have not applied for patents which would expose this technology. It's also a great novelty item that you should have fun with, especially for the golfer who has everything." End quote. Stay with me here as our story seems to stray. It will come back together. Unfortunately, from the 1990s to as late as 2018, including recent Middle East conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, somebody thought, I bet they are going to need a way to detect bombs. Let's sell them this useless novelty item the Gopher Golf Ball Finder, we can repackage it as the ADE-651, or Magic Wand as the terrorists began to call it, we will pretend it detects bombs. So parts were imported from China for a few bucks each, then the parts were assembled in a garden shed in somebody's backyard. To make it look really good, the creation was placed in a fancy padded case. Then, figuring to make a killing on the profits, the price was jacked up, big time. Unfortunately, a killing was made, literally, and several of them, as the ineffective devices were used at checkpoints in conflict zones to detect bombs. These battery-powered pieces of junk obviously failed, over and over again, and hundreds even thousands of innocents paid the price as suicide bombers and truck bombs were weighed through checkpoints and allowed to detonate as planned. The scammer who made the ADE-651 bomb detector made millions and got a paltry 10 years in prison. But wait, that's not all. The same bomb detector scam was used by others at least two more times. The next iteration was the GT-200 remote substance detector, and then the Alpha-6. Eventually, these were also uncovered as frauds. Because, hey, this looks just like the magic wand that doesn't work. <laughs> and those associated with the repeat performances were also given prison time. One version of the lethally fraudulent devices was claimed to be able to detect everything from illicit drugs to illegal weapons. The detector had a slot to insert a card in. The user could place a small sample of pretty much anything on the card and insert it into the device. And then abracadabra, this magic wand device was supposedly now fine-tuned to detect the substance on the card and do it through concrete or underwater. These less than useless pieces of junk found their way into conflict zones, including Baghdad, the drug wars in Mexico, trying to stop poachers in Africa, and Thailand's civil war. They were also extensively used to protect the posh hotels in the Middle East. Thousands of these pathetic little electrically powered dowsing rods, assembled with less than 20 bucks in parts, were sold for $8,000 to $24,000 each, but these gadgets were amazing, as they made everybody feel so much safer, even though everyone was, in fact, even more at risk. How could the scammers get away with it? 
How did they fool so many government and industry experts? They did it with carefully controlled fake demonstrations staged for people who urgently needed a solution. You see, at that time, there was an exigent need to find a new way to beat the bad guys and save innocent lives. Right now, the scammers took advantage of this desperation and came up with a solution that didn't work at all. But it did help placate the fear. This bomb undetector went into use all over the place before the deceit was understood. And even though IEDs kept detonating, the people felt safer and the leadership got to show everyone they were doing something. <laughs> Great salesmen say, find the need and fill it, or find the pain and relieve it. The consumer is looking for solutions and they are right. Don't misunderstand. Helping people get what they need can be a noble calling, but there are those unscrupulous people in our world who smell desperation and use it to enrich themselves at any cost. They figure if you're stupid enough to give them your money, you deserve whatever you get. It's your fault, you get cheated, not theirs. You should know better. You can find a deceiver, a snake oil salesman, scammer, everywhere on TV, social media, in the news, in popular culture, in magazines and books. And they are so believable. And they have what we need, even when we didn't know we needed it. Not sure how they live with themselves, but to be fair, a few might even believe what they're saying. So here's the ounce. Remember, when you are feeling a little hopeless or desperate to solve a problem, the Latin phrase caveat emptor let the buyer beware, still applies. And perhaps in these circumstances, it is even more important. Ronald Reagan said it well, trust but verify. As he walked away from the nuclear arms talks in Reykjavik, Iceland, leaving Russia fuming at the negotiation table. That took a lot of chutzpah. Many rightly consider reducing the risk of nuclear war to be a desperately critical thing. But just as taking someone's word that they will do the right thing is not good enough. There has to be a way to confirm, prove, and be sure of things, or we are left blind and likely in an even more desperate situation. Time has shown us that President Reagan did the right thing during a rather desperate time. Finally, a warning. If you are one of those who knowingly take advantage of others, whether you believe in God, right and wrong, or not, well, good karma, bad karma, it has a way of following you through eternity, and at some point in time, you will get yours. And that's it. Announce, submit it for your consideration.